Alright, so this is another video geared towards new mountain bikers. And uh, I wanted to go over the air fork system with you guys. Because um, if you've gotten a good bike, chances are it's got air. And this particular bike has four inches of travel. Now the top of the travel is right about there. So if you're hitting there, you're bottoming out. Um, but the bigger problem that I, that I usually see is that people are running too much air in their forks. Now, uh, they have these little rings that you can, they're, they're called your travel indicators, and uh, sometimes they pop off, mine's popped off. Um, but you can use something like a twist tie or a zip tie, and what happens is, let's see here, put a little load on it. Okay, so that's just me pushing down on it, okay, and that's what I've got. Now, I've seen some guys ride trails, and trails like Downeyville or, uh, you know, Auburn trails and whatnot. And what will happen is they'll ride these trails and their dust mark will be here. <laughs> so what that means is they're, they're using about an inch and a half of their travel when they've got, you know, four-inch travel bike. And these are guys that are looking to go up and spend, you know, another several grand to get a, a big travel bike. Uh, going up to like a six inch travel, you know, all mountain bike. And, you know, it's kind of hard to get this point across, but if you take a little air out and get this wear meter up a little bit higher when you run a serious trail, you'll be using more of your suspension and you'll also find the bike's a lot more comfortable and a lot more responsive. Uh, you get a lot more control because the fork's actually working. When you have too much air in it, the fork's just kind of bouncing you off stuff instead of absorbing you know the, the the terrain which is what it's meant to do so basically my suggestion would be get your fork set up the way the factory recommends i i had mine uh adjusted by fox when i was at uh, sea otter right after i got the bike and you know i had the air pressure up to like 120 and uh they adjusted it for me i think they got me down to like 85 or 90 and i'm a 260 pound guy so, not saying that you need to go off of that. What I think you need to go off of is the trails you ride and how much suspension you're actually getting out of that. Um, you know, if you're riding a serious trail and you never get above the halfway mark, you probably have a little too much air. Now, if you're riding a normal trail and your mark's way up here, then you've got too little air. So, you kind of got to play with it and find your, your comfort zone. So if you're riding it and you find that you're just, you know, your, your travel indicator is not coming up very high, you're only using, you know, uh, half of your suspension availability, I'd say, you know, take about 5 PSI out, you know, or 3, You'd be conservative. And remember when you adjust the pressure that, you're, that you lose a little air in, in, that, uh, in that instance too. So, um, but just take a little air out. You know, take the shock pump with you and go out and ride the trail and see how you're doing. And if you're not using a whole bunch of your travel, take a little air out. And what you'll find is when you get your, you know, your travel meter kind of up in this area after a good trail, rather, you know, here's too low, here's too high, you know, right about here. If you're in there in that realm on your fork, you you got three quarters of it uh, used. Um, after a serious trail, then then you've got your suspension adjusted pretty good. Um, and like I said, you, you'll notice the responsiveness and uh, the comfort in the bike. You know, you pay for all the suspension, you might as well use it. So that's my, my take on the air forks. Um, you know, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear it. But uh, again, just, just try it out. You know, some people are afraid to adjust it because the bike shop did it and that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, I went on a demo ride set up by uh you know the manufacturer of of these particular bikes i went on a demo ride for and um man they just had too much air in everything <laughs> they had too much air in the tires they had too much air in the fork uh, i took a little out and the bike turned into a dream to handle instead of the the rigid thing and it was a six inch travel bike you know uh, i was getting more travel out of my four inch travel bike here so um Anyway, again, get some use out of the suspension you've got, uh, especially if you're, you know, riding a 4-inch Travel 29er or a 5-inch Travel uh, 26er. If you're thinking, ah, oh, I need an extra inch of suspension, 
you know, I, this might save you some money. Take a little air out of the fork. You might find that all of a sudden your bike turns into a totally different animal, more like what you were hoping for when you first bought it. Um, you know, I can't stress this issue enough. It's one of those things that, you know, people go out and get new bikes and put too much air in those and say, ah, oh, this thing doesn't handle the way I wanted it to, you know, <laughs> uh, when they could have got it done on their 5-inch travel bike. Anyway, um, let me know if you guys have any questions on that, but uh, that's just my thoughts on that.